Hi, my name is Julia Guller, and I'm a researcher from the University College South Denmark and University of Southern Denmark. With this video, I would like to briefly present one of the results of my research project, which is about implementing physical activity in elementary or primary school. I did a process evaluation of the Danish physical activity school program called Active All Year Round. In this presentation, I will present my results related to the research question where I wanted to find out if this program actually reaches the children who are in need of improving their health or not. First, I'll briefly explain to you what this program is about. It is a three week long free health campaign offered to all Danish schools for free since 2006 by the University College of Southern Denmark. Every year there's a new theme and new material for the school classes. For example, in 2017, the theme was about using a frisbee actively and each child received a free frisbee and the teachers received some material with inspiration of how to use the frisbee with the school class. The teacher sign up their school class um, themselves on the website if they choose to be a part of this. Furthermore, um, there's also a yearly music video, which the teacher can find on YouTube and the children can dance uh, to the music video and see it either in class or, or at home. In 2006, around 9,000 Danish students participated. And in 2018, over 350,000 students participated. So it has been growing a lot. This means that two out of three Danish children participated and 19% of schools in Denmark um, participated in 2018. The aim of the program is to promote positive attitudes and positive habits regarding physical activity. The aim for each participating school class is to be the healthiest in Denmark. So that was a bit about the program itself. And now I will move on to explaining the background of this part of the research project. So health promotion, um, promoting interventions have long been criticized for, to a larger degree, reach the people who already have a healthy lifestyle. This can lead to that these healthy citizens become even more healthy, leaving behind the citizens who actually need to improve their health. In this way, um, inequality in health can actually be increased. So with this in mind, I wondered if that was, was the same for this Active All Year Round program. So I wanted to explore if the program actually reaches all students or just the students who are already physical active. I used the qualitative method. This means that I interviewed 16 school teachers from different schools who had all participated in the program with their fifth grade school class. The results were that the teachers explained that more or less all students could and actually did participate in the program. What was also interesting was that the few students who did not participate or were less engaged, they did not consist of a specific type of students. So I was interested in knowing how this could be that all types of students were actually participating. Well, to illustrate uh, the reasons for this, I will share a quote from one of the teachers. This teacher explained that she actually had a difficult school class where many students had different types of challenges in general. Therefore, I asked her how it could then be that they all actually could participate anyway. She said, everyone participated. The exercises are on a level where everyone can participate. There are no difficult rules and they don't have to engage in complicated collaborations with others. So to her, it was the ease of the program which made a difference. Another teacher gave another perspective of why the program reaches all the students. She said, you can say that the ones who do not do much sport and are a bit chubby, they have experienced that they have been on the same level as those damn soccer guys and gymnastic princesses. They have had the same starting point of being either really good or really miserable at throwing that one. So at least no one has left there thinking, oh my goodness, now I'm also bad at throwing a frisbee 
because we were all bad at that. So to her, it was this new type of activity which made a difference. Like I said, the teachers could not pinpoint any specific type of students who were less engaged in the program. On the contrary, one of the teachers explained. There were some of those kind of insecure kids who wouldn't get up in front of a big crowd and dance to this music video. But when we all did it in between each other, they got crazy. I thought, wow, man, I did not expect to see that. It is cool that it can also have that effect where you can loosen up a bit for those who are a bit quiet. So he experienced that the kids who are insecure when it comes to physical activity, they actually broke free from this insecurity and participated in the dance. So to conclude, the studies showed that according to the teachers using this program, all students participated in the active all, all year round program not only the ones who were already physical active to begin with. If you would like to know more about these results, please feel free to read my article, which is published in the Journal of Physical Activity and Health. If you would like to know more about my research, please don't hesitate to contact me or read more about me on ResearchGate or LinkedIn. Thank you very much.